Ireland has copied the example of France by championing its own food, and you can see why. Everything here from sausages to bread flour, cheese to marmalade, and they sell this all over the world. The water's good too. And water's become a crucial tool in opposition to shale gas extraction. This is the River Shannon, which flows through most of the length of the country. People who farm organically here have terrible fears about chemicals from fracking getting into the water supply. You couldn't guarantee the quality of your meat and uh, in other parts of the world farmers have been told that if your produce is coming from an area that's fracked we don't want it anymore. Many farmers are diversifying into tourism here as well. Fracking, they fear, would put everything in doubt. We are all in favour of our exploration of our natural resources for the benefit of the people of Ireland. But if it's a case that we're going to do that and we're going to lose our agriculture, our tourism, our heritage, our biodiversity, then that's a price that we feel is too high to pay. Ireland hasn't decided yet whether it will frack for gas, but many assume it will. After all, it's actively considered chopping down its national forests to pay off its debts. The environment is clearly regarded as a financial asset. Of course, Ireland is not only a small country, it's a very wet one too, and that's why environmentalists argue that even considering fracking here is a singularly stupid thing to do. The argument, in its plainest term, is that any pollution into the water supply from fracking would far outweigh any economic benefit of shale gas extraction. If someone could prove fracking safe, though, it might get a more receptive audience among Ireland's farmers. After all, agriculture needs a lot of heat and light, and imported energy costs farmers thousands every year. Fracking, there's enough environmentalists and scientists there to make sure fracking is done in a correct and right way, and I think, I think it's worth exploring anyway and harvesting. If it's an energy there to be harvested, why not? Fracking has stalled in many other places over dwindling public support and growing environmental concerns. The question is whether Ireland's proud eagerness to demonstrate its commitment to financial rigour will end up with it bucking the trend. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, Ireland.